Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Generations. In the last episode, we did a couple of challenges in the Dreamcast era to get the boss gate keys in order to unlock the boss of this era. And we also... If I can get back over here, <laughs> I went a little bit too far. Uh, we also took on our second rival battle with Shadow here. And we got another Chaos Emerald. In today's episode, we are going to actually go back to the boss gate here. I was just spawned right in front of it. And we are going to take on the boss of this generation. This era. Generation. Era. Same word. Different. It's a synonym. <laughs> it's a synonym. <laughs> I think that's what the main purpose of the of the title of the game is. Anyways, the boss gate is now open. Head on through the face-off against the boss. Now, this boss... I really like this boss. This is actually my favorite boss in the entire game. Mainly because of its mechanic. I think that's really what it comes down to with this boss. Anyways, let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and take on this boss. Now, I use this boss's footage in a impression video that I did of making this game. But without further ado, I introduce you to the boss of the Dreamcast era. There you go, folks. That is Perfect Chaos. If you ever wanted to see Perfect Chaos in high definition, now's your chance. Well, unless you bought a Sonic Adventure at high definition on PSN or Xbox 360. Um, anyways, this is the final boss of Sonic Adventure. And we are taking him on as the boss in this game. Now, the main mechanic of it is kind of exactly how we fought him in Sonic Adventure. You have to boost on the water, and you have to have enough speed to make it to the top and hit that gigantic little monitor thing on his head. Now, one little thing that's a little bit different about this fight than the first time you fought him in the original game... <laughs> you aren't Super Sonic. You're fighting him as regular Sonic. Yeah, in Sonic Adventure, this was the final boss, and you did go Super in order to fight him, but I think it's mostly it shows that Sonic had the powers he has now uh, when he fought uh, Perfect Chaos the first time <laughs> as Super Sonic. I think it's kind of like it shows a representation of how much stronger Sonic got over the years. Now, one little thing you need to be careful about is his little tentacles here that will crash the cars and everything. And one little thing that this boss has that not many bosses have in in this game this boss has checkpoints so yeah if you die you you won't be losing too much progress but here once you get on the water you have to boost if you don't boost you will die so be mindful of that that's why you get the little signs there indicating saying don't don't do anything reckless because that'd be kind of stupid but after you hit him three times the boss fight will go into a second phase. And this is actually the final phase of Perfect Chaos here. <laughs> Perfect Chaos now has risen all these platforms and is now pretty... Now we have to do a little bit of segment platforming. This is actually kind of new to the series, it's, or to the boss fight in general, because you didn't do this in Sonic Adventure. You had two phases of, of uh, Perfect Chaos, but you never did stuff like that. Be careful of that. If you, if you don't react fast enough, you will plummet like that. <laughs> well, shoot. There goes my platforming. That shows you how good platforming I am. Not really. Anyways, let's go ahead and take them on again. Let me go pick these rings here. I need boost power. Okay, so let's start running, and then start boosting, and then fall in the water. <laughs> wow. Holy cow, Matt. 
Making this boss a lot harder than it really is. Let's go ahead and... Do I have enough? Yeah, sure enough I did. Just barely. <laughs> barely had enough boost power to go and smack him on the head. But here we go. Let's go ahead and try this second phase again. Alright. This time, I will not fudge up like I did last time. Okay, alright. Jump down here, take a sh little shortcut, and take these rings. And just jump this way. Oh, holy cow. Okay, jump down this way. Go through these rings here. There we go. Jump, jump, and... Wapak! But there you go. We have defeated Perfect Chaos. <laughs> and as regular Sonic. And I know I did, that was kind of a pitiful performance, but sure enough, let's go ahead and on with the show. So after we defeated him, we have now completely, well, we've completed the Dreamcast era. And now the next era will be open to us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this. You've brought back quite a bit of this world! You're doing great, Sonic! You mean, you're doing great Sonics? Right! I, I may never get used to that! in the past. We've already got a couple, but we, we need, need that, that emerald. emerald! Sonic, you should go over there and check it out! I bet you can bring that Chaos Emerald back just like you brought back our friends! And I bet you double we're gonna need all seven emeralds. You guys have your work cut out for you. An adventure's no fun if it's too easy. And with that, now that we've defeated Perfect Chaos, we have the next era open to us. And this era is actually called the Modern Era. These are where they take stages practically from all the modern day Sonic games. We have now access to explore the next area, which we will get to eventually. But after we do that, we get the Blue Chaos Emerald. So now we have four Chaos Emeralds in our possession. And you're probably wondering, saying, Matt, if you need seven Chaos Emeralds, and you only get two per era, that's only six. Don't worry about it right now. We'll get the seventh. <laughs> we'll get the seventh later. So don't even worry about that. So now that we have access to the modern era, uh, that we'll be taking on that in a few episodes from now. Um, we'll be taking on that later. But in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations, I know I'm cutting it terribly short at this episode. I know we didn't really have much to do. We are going to be taking on... Practically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going getting the red rings of all of the Dreamcast era. We're going to be going and collecting all of them. And then the next episode afterwards is going to be another challenge compilation video. So without further ado... Oh, actually there is one more thing I wanted to mention. I did not show off... At all. Now oh, we got a Sega Genesis controller. <laughs> yeah, I bought that in the previous episode and hadn't gone up to it. Um, you can buy lives here. If you are running low on lives and you don't want to get a game over, even though it's not really that big of a deal, you can spend your points and do so. Uh, one little thing I didn't really go over here is skill customization. You can equip skills and required here. The skill that can equip determine the number of points you have. So choose your skills wisely and create your own skill set. So you practically have um, what this kind of reminds me of 
This kind of reminds me of how they had skill mechanics in Sonic and the Secret Rings. Really, you equip a certain skill set, and you customize it, and you have a certain number, you probably see 0 out of 100. Um, that pretty much means that I can only put up to 100 points worth of stuff on him. So, like, I could put... If I put all these on, then I'll have 60, 70, 80. So, actually, I'll have enough to have all those on. But you can only have 100 at one time. Now, there's actually one skill that practically takes up all 100 of those, but we're not going to be getting that until after we beat the game. So, don't even worry about it right now. But I just wanted to show that off. I'm not going to be using skills in this Let's Play, because I think the only useful skill that you can beat the game with properly is uh, athleticism for classic Sonic, but eh. I figured I'd, I'd not be using skills as Let's Play. I know a lot of people do, but eh, whatever. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to be in the episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations, we are going to be going to get the Red Rings of the Dreamcast era. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.